All right, so this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna see a link to my website uh, from where you can purchase such. And also, uh, the beginner's tarot class is starting at 21st of June. So if you do uh, want to start reading tarot cards and you like the way I do it and you want to learn from me, uh, you can sign up for those classes by going under the tarot classes section at my website as well. So that being set aside, moving to the uh, weekly tarot reading for you, Aries, straight away. So the first card that we do have, which is the topic of the week, that is going to be the Page of Swords. Moving next, we do have, wow, the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the uh, King of Swords. Hmm, that will be a very ambitious week for you guys. And moving next, we do have uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome. So that is going to be a person, Page of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. That is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is going to be the uh, High Priestess. And the last one is uh, the Guidance the Tower is offering. We do have the Fool card. Wow, all right. So, um, well, with the through the energies of the King of Swords, what happens this week? It is that uh, those energies are going to make you to do a very careful analysis of your current situation and status in term of career and in term of relationship. Now, the question though is why? Well, it is because uh, the you you have to touch the subject with a silk gloves, if you know what I mean. So you have to be extremely careful how you tackle with uh, the um, uh, challenges or with the, um, how can I say, with the, uh, well, with the activities themselves. And so you alone, through, the, through these energies of the King of Swords, you would understand that you have to work smart rather than working hard. And also what you're going to see it is that there is a, a very potent way through to exert your own will into the ongoing enterprises, either career wise or either relationship wise. So through that careful analysis, not just only you're going to resolve your worries and you're going to resolve your, um, how can I say, you're going to find a way through, but that way through also is going to be dappled from your side, that is, with a very effective actions to exert your influence, to exert your dominance, if you will, and to exert your will in terms of career and in terms of relationship. And that itself is going to lead to the situation, which unfortunately is a situation of a rather opposition here with the Page of Swords. Because Page of Swords, in terms of a situation, I will tell you how it stands here. So I will start from afar. Uh, with the Page of Swords, um, this analysis that you're going to uh, exert over your enterprises are going to make you to adopt a, first of all, very sharp point of view. And then after that, very unique and independent point of view. And under a sharp point of view, I mean that you no longer are going to be deceived by fallacies and by fictions, but you are going to be able to recognize the facts as the facts are. And thus, you will be able to act accordingly to the situation itself. Now, that is not going to be of liking of some people around, you know. Probably up until now, you have been on a leash, you know, and you have been led by your nose. Well, that's not going to be the case any longer because you are going to break those chains those chains i'm sorry and those who held the chains are not going to be happy of that fact so you have to prepare yourself for wrangles disputes controversy um opposition and so on and so forth and that itself is going to make you to do or to commit if you will a, a purge to purge the noxious and negative influence from your life and as we are speaking about noxious and negative influence, we do have the Page of Pentacles here, which is the challenge itself. And that is, by all means, 
a somebody that you both in generally are probably a good friends, you know, and you're getting along very well when it comes to just a casual relationships. But when it comes to working together, that person is only holding you down because in a challenging position, the page, the page of pentacles is infamous about their slow approach, about their cautious and about, you know, their uh, it's it's. I don't know how to say it. It is almost like I am. I do apologize about the uh, uh, the expression here, but I can't find a better word: retarded and nerdish uh, behavior toward the job or toward the enterprise itself. And so you are going to understand that with that person, if it is something to be achieved and accomplished, it will happen ten years from now while you are by yourself and through the new um, the new effective measures that you just came up with, you know, can be accomplished for say a couple of weeks or maybe half a year, but it's gonna be definitely much faster than if you allow the page to take place in. So the page is somebody that otherwise it's a nice person, you know, but it's just, they do not compete. Com they're, they're not very well comparable with the job at hand. Uh, and the challenge is going to be pretty much to cut them loose. So moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings, and that will be the gift and the blessing of the Ten of Pentacles. So that is uh, related to the page. First of all, liberation. You will no longer going to have the dependency of going or to carrying on the uh, the page of Pentacles on your back. OK, and uh, that will leave a, a room for a better investment and better investment in terms of time, money, love, if you will, emotions, uh, performance, and et cetera, et cetera. It is what you're going to be able to establish. And through that, those who are to assess you up until now, up until now say your current wife or a husband, say, you know, your boss, are going to start regaining trust in you that's Probably their trust in you beforehand wavered. And that was all because of that person that was holding you uh, back. Moving next, uh, we do have the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the impression of the uh, high priestess. So people are going to see you pretty much settled for your goal that you do very well understand and know, you know, what it's going to take, how needs to be accomplished. Uh, and in generally, you know what, what 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 you should develop as a um, peripheral means and peripheral not strategies but um, circumstances. So you can accomplish at the end. You know your actions can become a very very effective here. Um, Therefore, people were to see you extremely unyielding in terms of your uh, drive moving forward. So that being said, people are not going to even bother, you know, trying to uh, to sway your opinion. What they're going to try to do through the page of swords is to diminish the uh, actual results that you are going to accomplish. Um, for example, um, they're not going to bother. Uh, trying to uh, convince you to stay off your goal in favor of another. Instead, they're going to try to present that your goal is not worth it. So they will try to present fiction as a fact, but you're going to be well prepared for it because through the energies, you will have the, um, the accurate understanding, you know, of what you are after and what it's going to take to, uh, to accomplish it at the, uh, at the end of the day. And lastly, here with uh, the high priestess, people are to see you very patient that you are willing for, that it will take for as long as it needs to take. OK, and that is and that you are completely fine with it. Uh, so they can't apply the strategy to starve you out. That is something that, you know, a um, um, medieval war, warlord were doing when they are sieging a, uh, a, a fortress, right? They are starving out the fortress. Um, so people are going to see that you aren't going to abandon your goal regardless of how much time is going to take. And the last one here is the fool, which um, 
represents the guidance the Tsar is offering to you, Aries. And the Fool urges you to be pretty much opened uh, for the future itself and to face the future with a great enthusiasm, lightheartedness and lack of detachment with your past, meaning that you may have suffered certain, suffered certain defeats, certain failures in the past. That doesn't mean that you're going to suffer them moving forward into the future. So therefore, you shouldn't allow a, uh, those that are envying you for your new direction, you know, to try to bring up, you know, previous failures and to make you believe that you're going to repeat the same mistake back again. It doesn't look like that that is going to happen. So that being said, this was your a weekly general tarot reading Aries for a June 1st to June 7, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such. And as well, my tarot classes are starting at 21st of June. And uh, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read uh, from me and the same way, we are starting from a scratch. Um, and uh, to sign up, you have to go to my website and under the tarot classes section, you got to purchase the class. So yeah, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.